Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons, Warriors of the Eternal Sun. Now, we are not in the best of shape. And I'm actually going to stay on this menu so that I don't get ambushed by enemies while I'm talking. So you may be thinking, why on earth is he continuing to press on? He has three dead team members, he should be running back to town in order to revive them. He can't do this with one character, surely. Well, you wouldn't know this if you were playing this game for the first time, because... The idea of the swamp is it's a brand new area, unexplored, unknown, uncharted. But I have played the game before, and I know there is something very special deep within the swamp. Something that will help me out. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to rack my brains to try and remember where it is. So Kane's duty here is not to fight anyone, it's to hide. To creep past everything that stands in his way of which so far is nothing, and make his way to a very special location. Which is to the north, but it's a little this way. And then I think you just go straight up. Oh, good lord. Okay, chaps. Chap, can we discuss this? Possibly. It's a nice dance you got going on there, but we're not really solving the issue here. I don't like the fact you can see me, even though I'm hidden. Of course, this is a myth. They can see me on the overworld, somehow, but they can't actually see me in battle. Which means if I engage the battle, I can just do this. So, if, if you're wondering what's going on there, it's not that they're not getting turns, it's not that I'm so fast I get five turns. Because I am hidden, they can't see me. Because they can't see me, they their AI doesn't tell them to do anything. As far as they're concerned, there are no enemies, so they just skip their turns. So it's a little bit of an abuse, but that's because I'm a thief. That's that's my advantage. I can hide in the shadows, right? Uh, what was it? Was it here? But yes, that's what hide in the shadows does. It makes you hard to detect, which I actually managed to find a use for, which is surprising. Uh... And if I attacked, I would have got a crit, my first attack. And it does work properly outside. I would be revealed after attacking. But welcome. This is the pond. When you gaze into it, you get to see the reflections of your fallen comrades, apparently. Some of them revive angry. Some of them revive shocked and scared. Look at Mina. Look at the size of those eyes. And look at the venom in Pocky's face. Not literal venom, but, you know, anger. Now that everyone is alive, we shall take a nap in the middle of the swamp. But Mina is alive. Which is good, because Mina can use her healing spells to heal us faster. We won't have to sleep for five days, like last time. Oh, uh, no, Pocky spells are fine. And the team is ready to go. So look at that. You all thought Kane was useless. Nah, you probably didn't. You all thought Elodie was useless. You're right. But never mind. As a team, we're back in action. Right. Now, sort out the team order. I went for the... I was going to select the strategically best choice, which is to put the cleric at the front. Because Mina has the best armor class, for some reason. But then I decided, now we'll go for the role-playing solution and put the halfling at the front. Now, I'm usually fairly good at navigating the swamp, but my usual navigation of the swamp starts from the entrance to the swamp. A lizard man. Associated to the troglodytes, perhaps, but a different species. Perhaps we can meet with them and negotiate some kind of truce. Perhaps they will be our allies. You there. We wish to form an alliance with you. We shall greet you in the way that is customary of our people. By missing every shot. Oh. 
Swamp music is pretty decent, though, the combat. Kane, you've got enough experience. It's time to let someone else take the glory. Mina! Good, good effort. Elodie! Fantastic. Lizard men are not particularly powerful enemies. Neither were beastmen. We shall take his sword as a memento. We shall show it to their chief. Hopefully he will want to ally with us, unlike the troglodytes or the beastmen. Not that they would do much in a way of an alliance anymore, considering I slaughtered their entire tribes. But may maybe things will be different with the lizard men. Where are you? Are you up here? So again, you wouldn't know this when you're just blindly stumbling around the swamp, but I'm looking for the Lizardman's village. It's quite large. When we find it, you, you'll, you'll realise we found it. It's massive. Okay, we found it. Couple of guards out front, protecting the bonfire. Kind gentlemen will excuse me. I have business with your chief. You're currently obstructing. Any time you'd like to take a turn is absolutely okay by us. We're very fair, and you are very slow. Look at that limited movement. We could kite you for days, but that would be insulting. Almost insulting as if we just fire arrows past your ears for 20 minutes without actually hitting you. It's also insulting. Lovely stuff. Right, they were probably reprobates. I'm sure the chief will be happy that we slaughtered them. Now! Oh. I see. That's not quite what I was hoping for. Where are you, chief? Twelve lizard men, the whole tribe's coming for me. That doesn't really make much of a change. Sort out some spells. We're not going to need healing just yet. We are going to need some of this. But that's it, we could hide with two of our team members, but that doesn't seem that useful. My team will randomly shout out Hua! every now and again. It's part of the music. Enjoy. You see how strong Magic Missile is? Once again, it's not powerful, not by any means, but it can't miss. And in this game, hitting your target is the main trouble. Now I understand why the Troglodyte sent absolutely everyone they had after me. I killed their chief, their sub-chief, their other sub-chief, another couple of sub-chiefs, um, their children. Quite a, quite a wide variety. So I understand why they were angry. Why did the Lizardmen hate me so much? I strolled into their swamp. I killed like three of their guys. But that's it. That's not too much. That's not that bad. And they won't even hear me out. Unbelievable. But you know what, if they're going to play it like this, then fine. We're going to secure this flank down here. Eventually. I believe in the melee powers of Pocky and Elodie. We'll go for some range damage. But if this is the way they want it to be, then fine. They've made their decision. We could just run away. I think at this point it's pretty clear they're not going to accept our offer of an alliance. So, running away, not taking any risks, it's probably the correct decision. But my counterpoint to that is I'm slightly miffed 
that they attacked me out of the blue. And you can't let behaviour like that go unpunished. Now fortunately they are cripplingly slow. Which means their ambush is going to fail miserably because all of their front forces are going to be dead before the main bulk of the army even gets here. That's not how you ambush, lads. Out of curiosity, is one of these actually the chief? Is it stronger than the rest? I don't think so. I think they're all just lizard men. But we'll check. Behold, entangle. Six, four, seven, five, six, six, nine. You might be the chief. Looking in the top right to see their hit points. So someone has nine hit points. That's probably the chief then. Also, I forgot that Entangle was a, a touch skill. That's to be used from melee range. I understand why they don't want to give up. They're committed at this point. The number of tribesmen that have died in this battle alone is more than I've slaughtered through my journey on the swamp. I do love the tense battle where no one can hit anything. We can't hit them, they can't hit us. It's a fair fight. How dare you break the rules of our engagement. Could heal Mina, but I think I'll just hide and sling. One damage? What are you, a halfling? I shouldn't say that. Alodi does pretty good damage, actually. She has a plus one sword. She literally can't do one point of damage. In fact, if I remember my formulas, plus one sword does two to five, and her strength gives her plus three. So minimum damage is five from Alodi with the sword. So that's nice. Look at me busting out the mats in the middle of a let's play. Do you hide there for a second? I like this fight because the enemies are only hitting me for about three points of damage per time. I can be a bit more strategic. Uh, yes, that's a loading. What a powerful heal. I can be more strategic about... When I retreat people, who takes the front, who hides at the back, etc, etc. When I was fighting the alligator that bit me for 21, strategy went out the window. I didn't have many options. Could entangle one of these, but doesn't seem to be all that necessary. The two on the left of the bush seem to have forgotten what they're here for. And they're cutting off my escape. Not a great plan. Remember, you started off with 12. You're down to 3. We started off with 4. We're still 4. Can't get out of there. It's not worth it. I load cover him. Could use the Staff of Healing, but the Staff of Healing has limited charges, just like the Wand of Lightning. If you're wondering why I'm not using the Wand of Lightning, it's incredibly powerful, but incredibly limited in its uses. So I'm trying to save it until absolute emergency. Strategically, we're in a good position here. It's not the fastest fight the world's ever seen, but we're getting there. Nice work, team. Victory jingle. And that's a lot of gold. And that's no equipment. Right. They've built a beautiful campfire. We're going to make use of it. You'll notice that no one leveled up from that fight. Experience is not great here. 
Lizardmen are not worth much. Kane, what kind of expression is that on your face? That is goofy as all heck. Alright, feeling good. Now that we've slaughtered this tribe, let's see what they had. Also, we're going to have to tell the king that this one was a wash as well. Money. It was worth coming after all. Gold skin brethren to the north. Are we just going to let her live? You know what? Fine. If you have any survivors, you tell them what they witnessed this day. You tell them. Map of the swamp, useful. Also artifacts for Mamillion. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. So you can see the pond in the top middle. That's where we went for the revive. There's a big tree on the left. Maybe we should pay it a visit. Sure, why not? With this mission complete, the Lizardmen have refused our alliance, but we have gained some new information. Number one, there's no one else in the swamp, so we can leave. Number two, we have artifacts to show Marmillion. I don't know what those artifacts are going to do, but there you go. Number three, we found some money. It's completely useless because the only thing I can do with money is buy stuff from the townsfolk. Which raises the question of why the townsfolk aren't just giving me the stuff for free, considering I'm their saviours, but... Not going to help us on a more macro scale. In fact, the most useful thing we got out of this journey? Golds? Goldskin brethren to the north. Hmm. So to the north. There are human beings. Gold-skinned ones. How interesting. We shall have to explore the north. Because if there's one thing I need, it's some allies. And if they look vaguely human, that's good enough for me. I just looked at the map and I've already forgotten where I am. Okay, I'll just keep going up and left. Behold, the tree of life. It looks like any other tree. It's perhaps two tiles bigger than a normal tree. What does it do? It heals you when you touch it. Is that good? No. You see, we can just take a nap on the floor if we want to get our health back. It, hello. It's a dinosaur. We can't just take a nap on the floor. So, it doesn't do anything for us that we didn't already have access to. Unlike the Well of Souls, I think is its correct name, that can revive the dead, which is something we can't do without the cleric in town. Be entangled. Right. Great. Now it can't move. And if it can't move, it can't dodge. Tangle is an incredible spell. See, Elodie agrees. However good you think that entangle was that you just saw, you're underestimating it. It is incredible. So incredible, I'm going to have a quick nap in order to memorize it. The fact that I have to sleep after healing at the tree shows you just how useless the tree is, because it doesn't give me my spells back either. But there you go, you've seen the tree. Why do I feel like a tour guide? And now it is time for the long walk back home. Get used to this. Marmillion, we're coming. Also, also the Duke, I guess. But mainly Marmillion. And the shops. Don't forget the shops. 
Really, dude? Are you sure you want to go there? I'll have a short and sweet. I mean, honestly. Does he not know who we are? Maybe he was out on patrol or something when we massacred his entire tribe. Killing him is a small mercy when you put it like that. Okay, where haven't we been in this... The map... Unloads. Right. Our friend's back. Well, that was just sad. I don't want to be bitten by this thing. Not again. I know what it's capable of. Goodbye. Okay, back. Back to the Well of Souls, our favourite. Oh dear. Come and get some. Oh, I entangled that guy in the way of the other Lizardman. Which meant the real Lizardman had no direct path to me, and so he just gave up and stood still. I need you to kill this, Pocky. Okay, it's time. I'm not taking this risk. Sorry, I walked slightly too far. So, sorry. There we go. Actually, I think I need a clear line of sight. That's what I need there. Behold, the Wand of Lightning. I told you it was powerful. But now it's gone. That wasn't the emergency I was expecting to have to use it on. Uh, no, my spells are fine. But there you go. As is tradition in my Let's Plays, if you're ex expecting smooth sailing, you come to the wrong place. Should play a mini game of what's the longest sleep I have. What on earth are those things? I don't like them. I'm going back in this cave and hope they leave me alone. That surprises me slightly. I'm fairly sure if you go in a cave and then back out, it despawns everything in the overworld. So I think that's just by chance. The same enemy pack spawned. Yes, okay. Silly so game made me look like I don't know the mechanics. Uh, let's see, the well is second right. And then north with a little bit left. Wait, I have the map. What am I doing? <laughs> Trying to remember it. Okay, I'm on the right path. Sure, I'll fight one of you. If you're curious as to what that thing is, it's a fly. Yeah, I know, it's pretty big. I'd be afraid if flies that size started coming at me. And unlike every other RPG you've ever seen in the world, the flies in this game, they don't carry gold. Random monsters are not carrying hundreds of gold coins on them. It's unbelievable. The level of accuracy in this game. Unmatched. Alright team, let's try this again. Mm, 
Now that I know that monster is as frightening as it is, I have a plan. One thing I've realised, despite how it looks on the overworld, I don't actually have a shield on a Lodi. I should get a one. If I recall, a shield boosts your armour class by one. Which, I mean, subtracts one from your armour class. Dungeons and Dragons is weird, okay? You want low armour class. So I should get her a shield. It will help quite a lot. Am I even going the right way? Yes. Yes, I am. You may have figured out my plan by my selection of Pocky. This will not happen again. Do you hear me? Where are you? Show yourself. Right, here's the plan. It walks towards me. I entangle it. We beat it to death. While well, we can't miss. Okay, and now I'm scared. We're going to finish it off with ranged attacks, which also can't miss. There we go. As I said, entangle. Ridiculously strong. Two of these things is kind of frightening, but they don't deal the same damage. So even if I get hit a little bit, we'll be fine here. Okay, that was more damage than I was expecting. I take it back. Can we nap here, or are there enemies nearby? There are monsters nearby. Didn't explain that mechanic, but it's pretty standard fare, I think, for these kind of games. You can only rest if there's no enemies nearby. Otherwise, we just sleep in the middle of fights. Which would be comical, but not very effective. Somehow this tribe has repopulated since the last time I was here. mechanical point of view, that's just what happens with caves. The enemies respawn, apart from the beast. That's a sort of quest trigger. But the beastmen have all been killed off now. But these troglodytes will respawn forever. Alright, we all saw that coming. Mina, it's time. Stand at the front where you belong. getting out of here before I get surrounded. I can handle two at a time, but if I was getting flanked, then I would be in trouble. Honestly, these kids, they're brave, but they're not smart. Oh, it seems they've elected a new chief. You must be very proud. You, you must have been very proud. You can't blame the trogs. They didn't expect to get flanked from behind. He says, getting flanked from behind. By one kid nipping at my heels. Seems we shouldn't underestimate the sub-chiefs. Okay. It's all on your shoulders again, my friend. Right, find those vines. Good work, Kane. Keep it up. It's like a man possessed. Do I have any way of healing him now that Mina's dead? I don't think I have any potions left. 
I don't think he can use the staff of healing. But I'm not certain on that one. I might try it if I get desperate. Some vines? Not quite. Where am I? Seems I'm walking around in circles. I need to go up left, I think. This way ish. I made my way back to the swamp. Lord, I'm so lost. But I've murdered so much, I can't let that go to waste. Give me your wits about you, Kane. Okay, never mind, it's south we need to go. I mean, I was close with my guess of north. I guessed it was one of the four directions, and I was correct. Just got the wrong one. Enemies suggest a place I haven't been. Watching the rear flanks. Very wise. You can see what you want about Kane. He's got his eye in with this axe, at least. He's hitting it a lot more often than he used to. Not so much with the bow. Which is interesting, because I gave him 18 decks to make sure he could hit with ranged weapons, and he's absolutely useless with them. But I'll take proficiency with an axe right now. The spiders is the wrong path, if I recall. Is that the way? I think it is. It's a standoff with this iguana. If I step into its field of view, it's going to attack me. Let's see if there's another way around. Doesn't seem like it. I'm just going to have to brave it then, I think. How do I get lost so easily, so often? Okay, can you use the Staff of Healing? I think no, but we'll try it. No, you can't. I could hide, but that is a really lame glitch, and I don't want to take advantage of it. I'm being an idiot. Because I've murdered everything in the cave, I could just run back here and sleep. Yes, that's how we heal. If you ever wondered how many hit points you have, look at how long it takes you to sleep to recover from an injury. It's one hit point per eight hours. Back in a minute. Uh, back in... Good lord, maths. 56 hours. It's bad for Kane having to fight his way out of this thing alone. He's lucking three corpses with him as he goes. No wonder it's taking so long. I'm so scared of that thing flanking me. If that hits me from behind, I'm probably dead. But if these guys never want to move... Hello. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm coming down with a case of gangrene. That's poison. Damaging me there. And I can't remember if you can remove poison with sleep, but I don't think you can. Yeah, that's just going to kill him if I go to sleep. Am I actually going to die here? I need to get out fast. I've gone the wrong way. 
even if I get out, what do I do? I can't... I can't cover the overworld in time. I genuinely don't know what to do for this position. I think I'm just snookered. I can gain HP through level ups. That's going to keep me alive. Run, run. Is that all the vines? I thought that was the vines. Please let me out of this place. That's the carrying crawler where I came in. Okay. This is it. This is the exit. Get me out. Get me out. This is it. I know it is. It's not. It's over here. What are you? You weren't here before. Don't have time for the wildlife. You're not seeing a poisoned man running for my life. The petting zoo's gonna have to wait. Okay, we're through the vines. Hey. Ooh. Unbelievable. I genuinely forgot that was there. You'll probably think I'm playing up for the sake of exciting Let's Plays, but I'm not. I genuinely forgot there was a Cure Poison potion. And this isn't even the way out, is it? I think I've just found some secret area. Yes, I have. Oh, good grief. What a roller coaster. I'm still lost beyond all belief, but... I'm going to find a way out. It's probably to the south, then? Yes! We're out. Let me just wade through the carcasses of the beastmen to the outside world. I'm going to have a quick kip in here before I step out. Oh, never mind. I'm going to step outside and then have a sleep here on the overworld. Good lord. I've never had such a messy playthrough, but it's exciting. I'll give it that. Ooh, next time we are going to walk back to town and report everything we've discovered to the Duke. And then we're going to ignore everything the Duke says, and we're going to report it to Marmillion instead. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.